by a crash along the light rail, sparking new questions about ATVs in the Queen City. Yeah, someone was rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries last night after a train hit an ATV. This happened near the corner of Camden Road and East Boulevard in South End. And tonight, CMPD releasing new information about what led up to last night's crash. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Tanya Mendes. And I'm Fred Shropshire. This latest crash comes just a month after a deadly incident involving a group of ATVs and dirt bikes. NBC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat is in South End with what he's learning about last night's crash. Well, police tell us that ATV rider went around a stopped car. Then he tried to bypass the security gates on the light rail. That's when he came in front of the path of the train and was hit. This is the active scene. We heard the train screech. Following those unmistakable sounds. It was pure metal on metal. So mangled, it was hard to tell what it was at first. Some sort of metal underneath the train and vibrating, and I said, it's not normal. But as crews pulled the smashed up vehicle from underneath the train, it became clearer. It was obviously the, the four-wheeler underneath. Someone was rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries after the crash involving an ATV. A fellow on the ground, and he was in uh, a pretty rough shape. It comes just a month after a deadly incident involving a group of ATVs and dirt bikes on South Tryon. They started doing figure eights behind me. Heather Parati told us while stopped, she was punched by the driver of a car associated with the group of riders. 36-year-old Chavis Doby was charged with assault on a female in the incident. He punched me in, in my ear and it rang my chimes a little bit, for sure. Moments later, she told us she snapped photos of the riders down the road at this Bojangles. As officers responded, the riders took off and one of the dirt bike riders crashed. 33-year-old Michael Adams was taken to the hospital where he died. I do feel very badly for his family, but it's, um, it's, it's a choice. You have a choice to do this kind of thing. Parati said she contacted us after seeing our story with this video earlier this month. It shows at least 22 riders on Wilkinson Boulevard popping wheelies, driving up the sidewalk, and tearing up property. We're seeing that they're not stopping at red lights. CMPD not mincing words about the problem on Charlotte streets. It puts the public, it puts the rider, and it puts us as danger. It's not worth it, and, and we as a community really need to stop this from happening. Police tell us that ATV rider was not wearing a helmet. Alcohol and speed are not believed to be factors in the crash. Police tell us charges are pending against that rider. In South End, Alex Shabad, NBC Charlotte.